with bkashaaudio.com and today I'm going to explain to you how I route audio for recording my tutorial videos. It's a method that doesn't require any additional hardware and utilizes only free software so it's very cost effective and easy to do. So say you want to record a tutorial video and you want to be able to route audio from a DAW into your uh, screen recording or uh, maybe from other audio sources you want to route audio around. Uh, the best method I found to do this is to utilize a tool called VB Audio uh, Voice Meter. It's a free piece of software. You can download it here. And this will allow you to uh, route your audio from application to application. So I have it downloaded and installed, and it installs this uh, panel, as well as if you look in your audio uh, playback devices and windows, you can see that I have an entry here that's always here now for voice meter input. Um, <clears throat> so what I do is I will launch my DAW and I'll navigate to the preferences. The preferences you can access by just clicking up here. And I want to, normally I have selected my MBOX2, but if I want to be able to pass audio from Reaper, uh, into the screen recording software directly, I'll select Voice Meter Virtual Osio, which is this audio device that's installed when you install the panel. And that can pass anywhere from uh, one to two channels of audio all the way up to eight channels of audio over to your recording software. So once I select this, audio is now passing from Reaper to the voice meter software. And the next thing I want to do is I want to launch the voice meter panel. So if you just go to your start menu and type oh, type voice meter, you can select the application. And I have it running here. You have to have this application open to route the audio. And you'll notice a number of things. First we have our hardware input channel 1. Now for this I have the uh, input channel for my mic selected. So my microphone is passing through the voice meter software. And I have it set to mono. If I had it set to stereo, you'll hear that my voice only comes out of the left channel. We don't want that. We want it to uh, come through both channels. So I have that set to mono. And I can also mix the level of my voice if I want in this panel. And then the next thing that we want to look at is the virtual input. Now what we selected in Reaper, this, the voice meter virtual Osio, is routing to this third channel, the virtual input. And if I play back some audio from Reaper, you'll see that signal come into this channel. That's pretty neat, and I can mix that in relation to my microphone input. You also have this second input here, so if you had a secondary mic or a secondary audio source you wanted to mix in, you could do that as well. Whoops, didn't want to open that up. Um, so that handles the routing for this. Now how do you get it into your screen recording software? So I'm utilizing OBS, uh, Open Broadcaster Software, which you can see here, to do all my screen recording. And if you navigate to settings, and then you go to audio, for the microphone auxiliary audio device, I select the voice meter output. So what's happening is audio is passing from the DAW into the voice meter panel. I have my microphone also going into the voice meter panel. And then the output of this panel is being routed directly into the OBS software. And this allows me to mix in voice and uh, DAW output at the same time and get it directly into the video. And once I'm finished recording this, it gets uploaded directly to YouTube and I can edit it using uh, YouTube's integrated editor or if I want to do something fancier I can use uh, Windows Movie Maker or, or something more advanced than that to cut it up. Um, but it's a pretty straightforward and quick workflow and it's the easiest way I found to do it without having to have a secondary audio interface or uh, external mixer. So hopefully this was helpful for you. If you liked this video, be sure to like and subscribe and visit bkashaaudio.com for more tutorial videos.